My shelter has been absolutely destroyed. So let's just rewind about 10 months. Back in February, I built a shelter. I built it, well, I wanted to build a primitive shelter. I used hand tools. I tried not to use that many hand tools, but where I needed to, I did. I used moss. I collected lots of materials from around this woodland. It took me hours, days, weeks to make this shelter. The area I selected was in this lovely woodland with plenty of resources. The ground, the slightly sloping hill, the chalk and flint in amongst the ground, it made it a perfect place for drainage, for this shelter to be built. South facing, I couldn't have picked a better location for this shelter. I made the frame using sticks that I gathered from the woodland. I ended up making a shelter which was similar to an A-frame and a lean-to shelter, a bit of a combination. Using a 6 metre length of wood and two V-shaped sticks, I was able to pin this length down which allowed me to then build up layers of wood on either side of this shelter. Once the roof was complete with wood, I gathered debris, I gathered sticks, small twigs, I gathered leaves, anything I could find to pile on top of this roof. At which point I then gathered moss. The moss, it helped, it was an insulator. It helped keep the warmth in and the cold out. It also helped with the drainage on days when it was raining. I also built an entrance. Well, I, the front of the shelter, I built walls on either side. I also built a door in the middle of the shelter. And the door was made up, once again, of sticks that, and twigs and branches lying around this woodland. And having that door, it really did help keep a lot of the heat in. And once I had the roof with the moss and the entrance walls, as well as the door, I also built a bed. The bed was constructed, once again, with materials I'd found in this woodland. You know, I didn't cut any trees down, Everything used for this shelter was dead wood. There was nothing destroyed in this shelter when it comes to felling trees or destroying nature. I simply rearranged the nature to my advantage by creating this shelter, this home, this place I could sleep in. The bed kept me nice and warm. I took some deer hides that I slept on, I, as well as my dog, she slept on the deer hides as well. Once the shelter was made, I ended up sleeping here, not just once or twice. I spent a good week or maybe more sleeping in this shelter. I even found a round of wood that was in this woodland. I carried it, it took me about 10 minutes to get it all the way back to the shelter, but that allowed me to do things like prep food or split wood. And I always left that in the shelter. One other thing that I brought with me was a wood stove. Having the wood stove, it was incredibly warm in there. There were times I slept in here when it was snowing. There was snow on the ground. There might not have been much snow, but there was definitely snow and it was definitely quite cold. The wood stove, by burning wood in the wood stove, that allowed me and my dog to stay warm, to cook food, to make hot drinks. It was so nice and homely in there, in this primitive moss roof shelter. I have many many happy memories of staying right here in the cold winter months especially during lockdown. And it saddens me to come back here today and to see the shelter in this very very sorry looking state. It has been totally leveled, the door has been ripped off and thrown and smashed, it's been kicked to pieces, there's no way of repairing the door or the shelter. Everything is destroyed and I just don't know who has done it but 
I can't do much about it now. There's no way of repairing this shelter. And again, it just, it, it hurts to see it like this. And this is what I'm left with. You know, I've never, got, I've never been in, and I've never lived in a house where it's burnt down or been destroyed, but I have this real sense of loss right now. This, and I, I, I'm sure my dog can pick up on it as well. Many, many happy memories. Good food cooked. Yeah. Yeah, it saddens me that someone could have come along and absolutely destroyed this shelter. Whether they've seen it online or not, I do not know. It did get several million views, well, hits on YouTube in, in, in total. But again, there's nothing I can do apart from move on, you know, move on. Build another shelter somewhere else. It's been absolutely destroyed. It hasn't just fallen down. It wasn't just the wind and the storms. This thing has been purposely destroyed. Sticks thrown around, snapped, deliberately snapped. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm not gonna dwell on it too much, but I wanna say, to everyone that has seen this build over the last year, maybe 10 months. Thank you so much. This is what's left of it. And this is what's left of the bed. It's like going through the remains of a burnt down house. Well, I'd normally say, if you like this sort of video, give it a thumbs up. But today I want to change that. I want to say, if you watched this video, any part of this series, The Moss Roof Shelter, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Hit the like button. And if you haven't already subscribed and you want to see me build more of these, please hit the red button and subscribe. See you in the next video. Goodbye.